Hello everyone, it's Trina here from There's the Card for That.ca, and today I'm going to be making a full front scallop, no, not scalloped, <laughs> shaker card with this uh, panel die from Recollections. Uh, Michael's was having a big sale, uh, like 55% off coupon, so I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go. I don't really need anything, but then there was this, so instead of paying like a crazy amount for it, I paid less than half, and so that was a win. Um, I am going to be using some Distress Oxide inks to create what will be the front of my panel. So I'm going to start with the Abandoned Coral and Squeezed Lemonade, and then I'm going to just go back and forth with both of them to blend them together because when these two colors meet, they make the prettiest, like, peachy coral color. It's just, it's so beautiful. I just, I can't get enough of it. It's close to the dried marigolds, but softer. And I just, I just love it. So I'm going to just use my distress sprayer and spritz that with some water, let that sit for a few seconds, and then dab it off with a clean paper towel. Uh, looks great on the panel here. Once it's die cut, you don't even notice. <laughs> So maybe you kind of notice, like you can check at the end or at the beginning or in the picture on the blog. It doesn't matter, but like you don't, you don't really notice. Um, because the die is so intricate, I'm actually going to die cut it with a piece of stick it paper. Uh, so super thin, double-sided adhesive. And I have had this in my stash for like a year. And this is the first time I open it because it's one of those things where you're like, oh, I totally need this. I need this for all of the things. <laughs> then you're like, no, I don't know if this card's going to work out. So I don't want to use it. I don't want to use it. And it's just, it's one of those weird things that you hoard. And I just, I couldn't help myself. So I'm just going to run that through my die cut machine. And I ran it through back and forth probably three times. So six passes altogether. Um, just because it's so, so very intricate. And then I'm just using my little poker tool here to get all of the little pieces out. And uh, it die cut pretty well. I'm actually pretty impressed. Like I'm not typically a huge fan of Recollections dies. I've had some I've had some bad luck with them. I mean, we all have that product, right? That we we think is pretty and we really want to use it, but it's just not in the stars. Um, but aside from a couple little pieces. This one worked really well. I did a test run with it and some of the things were stuck around the letters earlier. Um, so I was like, oh, maybe I'll just put a shim in. But then I used the stick it and that seemed to be enough. And then I passed it through a, like a bunch of times. Um, so I got, a, I got a pretty decent cut. So I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it. They've got a couple other ones. So if they still have that sale, I might go get them. I don't know. <laughs> some like butterflies and stuff because can't get enough butterflies. So I'm just going to remove the backing paper from the back of the die. And this, this took a little while. So I'm actually going to cut a bunch of it out because it was, it was super intricate and the die just, it just didn't want to release. Um, so I'm going to put that over a piece of just clear acetate that I had cut down to just under four inches square. And I found it was probably best to put the acetate down onto the die and not the die down onto the S take because I didn't want it sticking to my craft mat. Um, please excuse my head. I had to line it up. <laughs> what I should have done was just used a bigger piece of acetate and then put it down and then cut around it. But I'm kind of lazy. I don't know if you've noticed that. <laughs> I really am. Uh, so now I'm going to create the backing piece. So it'd be like the back that you see through the shaker card. And at first I was going to leave it white and maybe I could have left it white. I don't know, but I decided I was going to go with cracked pistachio and I wasn't going to do a super smooth blend. I wanted it kind of blotchy like green clouds because <laughs> why wouldn't there be green clouds behind behind flowers? <laughs> I don't know. It made so much sense in my head and I'm like, oh, this is going to look fantastic. And I mean, I like it. I think I think the, the card worked out pretty well, but you don't notice. You don't notice anything past like the dye. <laughs> Like even when I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh, it is green. Okay, that's that's good. Uh, so to create my shaker, I am going to take a piece of foam tape, still the same roll that I had gotten from the dollar store ages ago, 
and I'm going to cut that into quarters because it's about a quarter of an inch for a border all the way around. And I need two layers because we've all talked about how it's going to be two layers for the, to make the sequins shake really well. And then um, I'm just gonna cut each of those in half and then add them around the outside and then remove the backing paper from that. So there's not a lot of stability in the middle because there wasn't really any place that I could put more, more foam tape. <laughs> but it's okay. I mean, if I had put it on like a bigger card, cause this one actually, this card itself is gonna be four and a quarter by four and a quarter. Um, so it'll still fit in a standard A2 envelope. I just, I just didn't want the up, the upper part. <laughs> <laughs> bottom part. Um, I just wanted just the shaker to be the whole card because that's fun, right? Like it's super fun, especially when you bling it up, which we're going to do later. Believe me. <laughs> Let me tell you guys. I was like, oh, I wonder how many embellishments I can put on here. And I'm like giggling to myself later on while I'm doing this. <laughs> like these guys, are they're, they're going to watch this video and they're just going to shake their heads at me. But I think, I think we've all come to expect it now. Um, so after I get all my adhesive on, then I'm just going to use my powder tool and go over the acetate and like the sequins will brush away any residual powder and you don't really see it anyway. Um, but it stops the edges of the sticky tape from sticking to the sequins so that you get a good shake because everybody needs a good shake every now and then, right? You know what I'm saying? And so, <laughs> sorry, that was terrible. I didn't say those things. Oh my goodness. Uh, for my shaker bits. I am going to be using some sequins from Studio Cadia in Marmalade Fusion, which I think they have discontinued, as well as Honey Gold Fusion, which I think were also discontinued because I got a killer deal on them. Also, update to my Studio Cadia drama. Not really drama. I mean, it was a thing. I did hear back, and they are going to get those crystals shipped out to me ASAP. So as soon as I get those, I'm sure you'll see them in a video because they are so pretty and I just love them so much. And I'm super grateful to Katia and the folks at Studio Katia for getting back to me and making it right. Because, yay. Because I can't wait to order more stuff. <laughs> I really can't. Um, so I'm going to adhere my green panel on the back. And my plan here was to have a green border around the thing. But when you adhere something face down and you can't see what's happening, try as you might. I can't line it up. I have a grid mat and everything. <laughs> it just didn't work out for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use my little X-Acto knife here and I'm going to cut off those crooked green bits <laughs> from around the edges and then it'll just be a white border around the card. I mean, I had considered like, oh, maybe I'll sponge this again, but then I didn't feel like getting out my my new spongy thing that you saw earlier, which is, it was super fun. I made that myself. It's just a whiteboard tile. <laughs> and then I made little little squares so I can like smoosh my ink and then like adhered this, the lid of one of those interlocking cap things down so like I can put my water, like lock it in place down and then unlock it and go dump it out. I think I'm pretty glad clever. <laughs> uh, it's been some late nights, let me tell you. So I'm just going to stick this shaker part down to the front of my card base, which is four and a quarter by four and a quarter, um, with some half inch score tape, just so that it doesn't move. So it's nice and, and tight in place. And then I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to start blinging. <laughs> it's going to happen. Um, I'm just trying to figure out which ones I want to use and which sequins, but I decided to go with the snow crystals also from Studio Cadia. I tell you, I can't, I can't get enough of them. I am so excited. I am so excited for all of her new releases. Um, they're so pretty, like the stuff she comes out with. I don't even know how she does it. I don't know how to make crystals. <laughs> That'd be great if I could. So I'm using the Rangers Multi Medium Matte, and I'm just gonna put one snow crystal in the center of each of the little flowers that are in the die cut. And I had thought that the one on the bottom was a flower, but turns out it's not a flower. So I had to like scratch out the glue. <laughs> what do you do, right? Like you just get so excited about adding centers to flowers and there they go. 
So I'm just using the smallest and the second to smallest because I think there's four sizes in the in the crystal mixes. And I'm just using my little DIY quick stick picker tool. Still the same one. These things last forever and it cost me like, I don't know, half of a cent to make, maybe. And then I'm going to go over the thank you with my clear wink of Stella and I still haven't gotten another one. So this one, this one's running out pretty fast and I thought I had another one. So I'm going to have to like dig through like my stash or my craft room and actually find it, or I'll just have to get another one. And then I am going to cover the thank you with glossy accents because wink of Stella just looks so much more shimmery er shimmery er. Yeah, we'll go with shimmery er. <laughs> it's a really hard word to say. You should try that. Um, under glossy accents. And somebody had asked me in a previous video and I can't find the comment or I would have replied. It is a Ranger fine tip applicator. Um, it didn't come in a package when I got it. Uh, so that's why I didn't know, but I did check with Selena over at my scrap and dippity store and uh, she let me know that it was Ranger. So whoever it was, I do apologize for how long it has taken me to get back to you. I couldn't find your comment or I would have replied directly. Um, so here I'm just using the back of my quick stick tool toothpick thing um, to get some of the glossy accents off of the acetate. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. I will have links to my blog post and my Facebook down below. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment. I love them all and I do try to get back to everybody when I can. Thanks so much. Bye!